Hello friends, let us now learn about the diseases which are associated with DNA repair. So we have different types of diseases which are associated with DNA repair. First it is xeroderma pigmentosa. So as the name says, we have xero is dry and derma is skin, pigmentosa is pigmentation. Right, so this xeroderma pigmentosa is autosomal re recessive disease, and here there is a defect in nucleotide excision repair mechanisms. And because of this uh, nucleotide excision repair mechanism, okay, uh, normally if you see this nucleotide excision repair mechanism uh, requires. 7 xeroderma pigmentosa genes. If there is some mutation in these xeroderma pigmentosa genes, this will result in xeroderma pigmentosa. So, if you see this mutation is induced by UV light, this UV light will induce the formation of thiamine dimers. And normally, these thiamine dimers normally they are removed by nucleotide excision repair mechanisms. But in this condition, where these thiamine dimers are not repaired in xeroderma pigmentosa due to defective nucleotide excision repair mechanisms, these thiamine bases are not repaired. And as a result, these thiamine dimers are accumulated and resulting in this disease. And whenever these thiamine dimers are accumulated, this results in the cancer. That is, the skin is sensitive to UV light and they develop blisters on the skin. So, how are you going to treat this? And they have almost 1000 fold increased chances or risk of developing cancer in these patients with xeroderma pigmentosa. Most commonly, they die due to squamous cell carcinoma of skin in their 20s or in their second decade of life, they die due to squamous cell carcinoma. And how are you going to treat it? You, there is no treatment available, but you can avoid the sunlight and also you can use sunscreen ointments over their bodies especially over the sun exposed areas. So this is about xeroderma pigmentosa. So the next diseases are associated with uh, DNA repair mechanisms are we have uh, ataxia telangiectasia. This ataxia telangiectasia is also an autosomal recessive condition. Even here this is also sensitive to UV light, okay, and this occurs due to a mutated gene called as ATM gene is mutated and this ATM gene is located on the chromosome 11Q and this mutated gene is present in 1% of total population and these patients develop symptoms like cerebellar ataxia that is imbalance in the uh, body due to the cerebellar issues and there is telangiectasia are seen in the eyes and they also develop lymphoreticular neoplasms also are common in patients with ataxia telangiectasia right along with this the next DNA repair mechanism defect is Fanconi's anemia so this Fanconi's anemia occurs due to the defective genes in chromosome on chromosome 20Q and 9Q and this defective uh, genes mainly here there is defect in DNA cross link repair there is a defect in DNA cross link repair and this Fanconi's anemia also increases the risk of cancer in these patients. Then the next DNA repair mechanism is called as Bloom's syndrome. So if you see in the Bloom's syndrome, there is 
defect is seen in DNA ligase which will actually uh, join the two nucleotide bases or there can be problem in DNA helicase which is present on chromosomes 15 Q and this Bloom syndrome also causes lymphoreticular malignancies right next the next syndrome is called as cocaine syndrome so if you see this cocaine syndrome also it has a defect in nucleotide excision repair mechanisms and here if you see uh, the transcription factor 2h is defective in this patients with cocaine syndrome and here the patient suffers from mental retardation and stunted growth okay this is about the cocaine syndrome then the next disorder is hereditary polyposis colonic cancer this hereditary polyposis colonic cancer also called as lynch syndrome here if you see there is a defect in mismatch or defect in is seen in mismatch repair so you can see a mutation in the mismatch repair genes that is HMSH1 and HMSH2 genes thus resulting in this hereditary polyposis colonic cancer. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. Thank you.